there. Um, that's more Irish. I blame watching Bri Bri for half the day. One of my YouTube character flaws with me is that I either make loads of videos in one day, or I make none for about five weeks. So today is my actual second video recorded. I don't know if it's uploaded or not of the day. Um, in where I talk about being stupid and feeling inadequate and in which I talk about how I'm a Ravenclaw and yes although I said a lot that I'm not a booky, booky sort of person I do love to read because reading's fantastic and everyone should read more so I thought I'd give you the five books I read most recently uh, these are in no particular order um, one character flaw with me especially is that I'm a horrifically slow reader and that I don't read much which really upsets me I, I want to read more I just I don't unfortunately um I oh what am I talking um I'm busy a lot with school so I don't read and then when I'm not busy I'm busy with people or I'm busy with cadets and it just it flies off the handle and I don't get a lot done so one of the first books I'm going to talk about is Alice in Wonderland I presume most people have read it it's a fantastic book I love it um I've actually got my own personalised copy from my aunt because it is my favourite child's book in where Alice goes down a rabbit hole and I used Alice in Wonderland as the basis for a photography project recently and I love it, it's one of my favourite books and I will always identify horrifically with Alice and being forced into a brand new world which is scary and different and she finds wonders in that world and unfortunately I didn't find wonders in my new world I grew up unfortunately and I got welcomed into a world which is harsh and cruel with people who are bastards but like Alice I turned into a different person because of it and it's it's nice to know that that can be explained to children through a story like Alice in Wonderland and I've read it to my cousin um, not explaining to her the draws and the links I make with depression and feeling alone but that's clearly not something I would tell to an eight-year-old um, secondly is Perks Being a Wallflower again it's one of my favourite books of all time I think it's remarkably amazing and wonderful and I love it 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 um, it is by far one of my favourite books of all time, mainly because the character of Charlie is just so amazing and the story it tells, it is real, it is real. This is how teen teenagers really are. We are messed up kids living lives that aren't built for us. We are forced to be adults and children all at the same time and it's confusing and it's hurtful and people hurt us and this book demonstrates it so fantastically how humans can hurt us and me and Charlie are practically the same people and I got upset reading this book so many times because of how much I am like Charlie and Charlie is like me and although this book made me cry horrifically I'm also very thankful for this book and its portrayal of people who aren't right in the head sometimes and I'm glad that this book exists so that people can read it and understand other people and I love it. So, two books down. Third book is Pride and Prejudice for Zombies. It It's Pride and Prejudice with Zombies. There's not a lot I can say apart from the fact that this book is fantastic and you should read it because it really is fantastic. There is so much I, I don't really know where to go with this book apart from it is really fantastic. Uh, zombies definitely make everything better and I've always believed that. Anyway, um, and the illustrations, I will show you one, are just the best in the world. I mean, ah, oh, fantastic, don't you think? And Elizabeth Bennet's fucking kick ass in this book. Third book is Two Brothers by Ben Elton. It is one of my all-time favourite books. Um, I'm actually reading it for the second time because this time last year I was reading it for my German history exam for GCSE and I'm now taking my German history exam tomorrow for AS level. 
and I decided to read it in hope that it would help me out again. I don't think it will, but it demonstrates British history and not British history, German history and the rise to rise of Hitler and all the years. It it takes you through basically the Roaring Twenties up until the end of the war and a little bit further afterwards and I think that's fantastic because you get involved with the characters and you start learning historically in in chronologically ordered but at the same time you're having fun and it is funny it is really really funny really funny um i got recommended this by my platoon commander and i will forever be grateful for him for telling me about this book it's really good the characters are great um sadly i don't have the next book with me but it's the fault in our stars to be the cliche that i am um my sister's actually reading it at the moment that's why i don't have it um it's so romantic i think it's the romance i love the most hazel and Gr hazel grace and gus are two of my favorite romantic couples ever oh i can't say anything without giving it away sadly because i'm awful just read it if you want a really good love story a really true love story as well um obviously it's not based on fact not all of it at least um but the emotions that they feel are so true i know how it feels to go out with people that feel like you're gonna hurt them and that's not fun and that's not good and i've drawn a lot of links between the relationship i'm in right now and then the relationship between Gus and Hazel because of that fact and because this idea of being a grenade you'll know if you read the books oh it's brilliant it really is just read it just go and read it go and read all of them because they're fantastic and I think people should read them all so these are the five books I've most recently read off the top of my head I'm pretty sure I read something that Carrie Hope Fletcher recommended but I really can't remember Oops, <laughs> couldn't have been that good. Ah, um, I'm gonna go now because I'm, I'm got work to do. Actually, I should be revising for my history exam. Oh well, have fun. Bye.